good afternoon where I am. Um, maybe it's morning where you are, but hello, welcome. We are going to talk about, oh my gosh, so many lovely colors today. Purples and, and neutrals, I guess. Hi, Sue. Um, I am still wearing Willow and Hail. Um, oh, and I adore this one. Yes, look at all this pretty polish. I couldn't agree more about that. I'm just going to straighten my camera out a little bit. Oh, perfect. There we go. Yay. Okay, I'm taking off Willow and Hail right now. And we are going to talk about comparisons for um, a couple shades. We're going to talk about comparisons for uh, Night Court, which just went live on my feed today. Um, of course, you can see it on the website, the little sneak peek. Um, but it's this lovely gray metallic hello welcome welcome and then um we're also going to look at titania which is this purple cream this one hasn't officially been revealed on instagram but if you saw the sneak peek then you probably saw it um and i'm so excited to share it with you i have some comparisons here thank you um and so if you if there's a color you were curious about um that you want me to pull out that you don't see here let me know i'm happy to do more comparisons. I'm going to pull off. I'm taking off Willow. <clears throat> I think Willow is my new favorite color. I also realized that it basically matches my phone case, my water bottle, my rain jacket. <laughs> it matches a lot of things I own. Um, it's a great color. If you've seen all the colors in the sneak peeks, let me know which one is your favorite so far. Let me know which one you're most excited about. I'm always curious which one you know, resonates with people. We are getting family photos done tomorrow. And I think actually that I'm going to wear icicle. Um, and so I am going to paint that when we're done here. Um, we're wearing like navy blue. And so I feel like the gray will look really nice. Night court. Ooh, Peggy, I love that. This one makes me feel really tough when I wear it. <laughs> I love that one. I wore it um, last week, like at the end of the week, and I thought it was really fun. Sue, I won't make you pick. Sue says she wants all of them. I won't make her pick. All right. Hey, Hannah. Hannah has the collection. Hannah, you can tell us which one you think is your favorite. I'm asking folks which is which one they're most excited about. So far, we have a vote for all of them and a vote for Night Court. But always curious which ones resonate with people. I'm taking off Willow. Yeah, thanks for joining for a few minutes, Hannah. I was just, um, I just updated the landing page for this collection. So now you can see um, each of the products are listed as products that you can like add to your wish list. You can go check in and you can see, um, you know, all of the swatch photos, comparisons, all that kind of stuff is up there. So you can feel free to um, go over um, and join the, uh, check out the landing page and you can feel free to see more swatches and stuff. If you want to see that there, you want to build your wish list. Yes. Okay, well, you're going to get to see both of those. Um, yeah, I'm loving these two. I tend to not like, we'll talk more about this when we get into purples here, but um, I tend to not love like more grapey purples. I feel like they look almost like, um, I don't know, plasticky on my nails or something. Like I just don't love them. So I don't really have like a true grape purple. Um, but when they have a little bit of this like bluer undertone, I just, I absolutely adore these. Um, so this one I really love. I feel like it looks very like sophisticated and royal, you know, majestic. Um, so I really love it. So I'm just finishing up taking off Willow and Hail. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm using a product that I was testing to see if I wanted to carry it. And I kind of hate it. It's like a nail polish remover wipe and it's like it's making my hands all oily do you see this it's like yeah I don't think I'm gonna carry this but I was testing it um so <laughs> I feel like I just yeah I don't love it people ask me for a remover all the time and I'm like honestly it's really expensive to ship nail polish remover all over the country because it's so heavy um so I was kind of trying to explore this as another option that I could bring into the shop but uh, I don't think I'm going to you really like royal purple yeah agreed totally agreed
Okay, almost done. Um, not yet, Sue, but I am working on it. It will probably be early 2025. I haven't 100% decided. Um, we had to make a couple small changes, so I just wanted to just wanted to make sure it was perfect. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you asking. Okay. Took all my polish off. Definitely not gonna stock these products in the in the store because they're really annoying, in my opinion. Here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I do you have a preference on which one we start with? I think um, we're gonna do Night Court or Titania. I'm happy to do whichever one you want to see first. It seemed like there was a lot of Night Court excitement, maybe. So maybe we'll start there. Unless somebody really wants to talk about Titania. We'll get there next. Um, okay, so this one is a uh, gray metallic. It has, maybe it'll come through here. Leave the best for last. There you go. <laughs> I think they're both great. Um, maybe this will sell you on Night Court. Um, this one has a little bit of a blue in it, which maybe you'll be able to see on the phone camera, but maybe not, um, which I think adds a really nice depth to the gray. I feel like sometimes, um, like a silver metallic in particular, for me feels like very flat and kind of one dimensional. Um, not always, but sometimes. And this one is almost more of like a charcoal gray and then has a little bit of that blue. So you just get this really nice depth. I, I think it's a really perfect gray in my opinion, but it's still like sparkly and fun. So you could wear it to like a holiday you know party or something do, do, do. yeah there we go okay and then the other one i'm going to show you this is lucky this one is um you can wear it as a topper but you can also build it up on its own and so i'm going to show you it built up on its own uh, actually no i'll put it at the end we're going to go next icicle because that's the other gray one icicle is not a metallic it is the same finish as raindrop so it has that very subtle scattered holographic in there but it is a cream formula so i'll show you icicle this is kind of my other gray sparkly polish right now there we go that's one coat of icicle that delicate little sparkle is so nice um is it a finish like stardust um kind of peggy i i can pull uh, I can pull Stardust in a minute and show you them next to each other. Um, it is, I mean, they're both metallic, but this one you'll see is, it's more like disparate shimmer particles, <laughs> which sounds so silly to say, but um, you're going to get less of that like foily finish that you get with Stardust. So I can show you that in just a second, but it's probably pretty comparable. I mean, they're certainly related. Yes, I love Icicle so much. I really do. I think it's what I'm going to wear to my family photos tomorrow. As I shared, I think, before you joined. Okay, so this is one coat of Constellation. Constellation is, um, I call it like a charcoal jelly base. Um, so it looks black in the bottle, and you can certainly um, get it built up to be that nice and dark color. But in just one coat, you get that like um charcoal gray color and then here i'm going to show you lucky i'm just kind of showing you any like sparkly neutral <laughs> basically like white gray black anything in this kind of family so lucky you can wear as a little kind of pearly topper um, but you can of course wear it up on its own so i'm gonna build it up for you here all right so here is night court we're gonna do this in two coats. Um, I wear it in two coats. I think um, one of the swatchers that I've heard from already said that they wore it in three coats, but they have mm, way longer nails than me. Um, and I think it's just kind of up to you. I feel like that's opaque for me. Um, but if you maybe are seeing some spots on your nails or you wanna go three coats, you certainly can. Um, but like I said, I've, I've been wearing it in two coats. Here 
Here's a second coat of icicle. Doo -doo -doo. Icicle. Oh, I adore that one so much. It just has that subtle holographic in it, the same as Raindrop. Um, and I think it's really, I think it's really pretty. And then I'll show you two coats of Constellation. Um, we will see a little bit of the color uh, build up. You know, we'll see a deeper black come out. And then, of course, you get more of the glitter in there when you build it up in more than one coat. I think I'm going to go three coats of Constellation so you can see how it, um, you know, how deep you can get it. But you can see the color difference here, at least in two coats of each. And then I'll show you another coat of Icicle. Sorry, not Icicle. Lucky. This one has a pretty strong uh, pink shift, but it definitely still looks like that pearly white um, on the nails. So that's two coats of Lucky. And like I said, it is intended to be a topper, but you can certainly um, build it up in two to three coats and get that just kind of like pearly frosting look if you really want it. Um, yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love Constellation over like jewel tones, blues, kind of the deeper colors. I feel like it looks really nice. It definitely, you know, darkens the color a little bit, right? But it kind of, I feel like it, I think when I launched it, I said that it made it like the midnight version <laughs> of a color. Um, yeah, that's a fun combination. Peggy, I like that. Peggy put it over Jostler. Yay, Tracy, you deserve it. Tracy has rewards. If you're not signed up for rewards, make sure you are before this collection launches because otherwise you if your purchase is over $50 you get a $5 credit back store credit back for your next purchase so that's pretty good um, but you have to be signed up to get those um, when you place your order okay I'm gonna do a third coat of constellation and a third coat of lucky just so you can see it built up and then we'll move on okay so three coats of constellation I feel like gets you um, you know the closest to the color in the bottle because like I said it is a little bit of that jelly um, finish so that you can really see the glitter but I just love how you know you see like layers of glitter like it just builds up you know each layer on top of the other I just I think it's lovely um and I have worn this one in two coats before I like it in two coats on its own um it's just more of that like charcoal gray versus like a black I think in two coats and then here is three coats of lucky this one I actually as a full manicure, I've only ever worn it as a topper. Um, I really like it over pinks. I think it really accentuates that pink glow. Um, but I've seen lots of really pretty manis with this one all by itself. Okay, do, do, do. where are these? Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. So here are, oh, am I centered? Yes. Okay, so here are some kind of neutral grays and whites that have a little bit of sparkle in them. Night Court is a lovely sparkly gray metallic that has almost a foil finish, uh, but it's a really nice deep metallic, uh, deep gray. And then this is Icicle. It has that smattering of holographic glitter, but in a nice creamy light gray base. Constellation is a charcoal gray jelly with a holographic glitter in there this is a scattered holographic and then lucky is typically worn as a topper but you can build it up on its own as well this is three coats of lucky here it's a nice pearly finish it has a little bit of that pink shift to it when you when you build it up yeah okay but that's night court um peggy asked about uh stardust are there any other comparisons that you feel like would be helpful for this one i don't have a ton i feel like of colors in this range but let me grab stardust and show you the finish okay i'll put stardust on my so here's the oop. here they are in the bottle so they're very similar um but maybe you can see that like oh the shimmer 
I think you can just identify like different colors of shimmer in Night Court. It's a little bit, um, there's like more things mixed together, um, where Stardust is really going to give us that nice like rose gold foil effect. I love Stardust as well. This one's good. This one is um, actually low in stock right now, so it will be going away soon. Yeah. So this one almost, I feel like it gives you like that, <laughs> like a, like a penny or something, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, they're very, very close, but slightly different in terms of their finish. Yeah. I love Stardust. It's great for like a holiday party if you don't want to go, you know, with like traditional holiday colors because um, it's just like sparkly and fun. It's also really good for like a New Year's, New Year's stuff. Okay, let's talk about Titania. Oh, I didn't say this. Okay, Night Court. Um, if you are a Court of Thorn and Roses fan, this is probably obvious, but if you're not, um, it is inspired by the series A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Um, it is a wonderful fantasy series. And I just love, I mean, I loved the, the books. I listened to them all. So I love the audiobooks. Um, but I also just love, you know, whenever there's like a phenomenon and it just kind of brings together all these different people. Um, so many people love A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, and I just always think that's fun when it's like a phenomenon and you just, lots of people are brought together by their love <laughs> of a story like that. Um, so that's what this one is inspired by. I listened to the books a couple years ago, um, I want to say I started listening to them in like 2022, maybe. Yeah. And then just basically listen to them nonstop for however long it took me to read them. <laughs> Ooh, Stardust at a Wedding sounds perfect, Peggy. Okay. And this one is Titania. And I'm curious if anybody thinks they know what this one is a reference to. It's, um, probably the most, not obscure, but like the strangest of the ones in this collection. So I'm always curious. Um, if you're watching a replay, you can pause and try to think about it. Uh, but this one is a reference to, Ooh, sorry about that, y'all. My phone, I set Instagram limits and I meant to turn it off before we, uh, <laughs> before we went live because I knew we were going to go over it. Um, my son has started saying no phone, no phone when he sees my husband or I on our phone. So <laughs> we're both trying to make sure that we're being, you know, as um, <clears throat> conscious as possible about our screen time in front of him. Um, okay. So this one is a Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, Titania is the queen of the flower, uh, queen of the fairies. And um, it's not really a fantasy. It's technically um, like a you know, a, uh, a comedy, I suppose, but, um, it's just such a wonderful story and was one of the first, um, like plays that I saw with my father. Um, I had already seen the movie, we saw it together and, um, so it has a special place in my heart and it's about fairies and like a magical forest. And so I feel like it works for a fantasy collection and this just feels so magical. It had to be inspired by a queen. So that's one coat of Titania. Um, and then I'm going to show you Gratitude, which was in last year's winter collection. Um, it is, Gratitude is like as far dark as I could go to have a color that was really dark purple, but still looked um, purple on the nails, right? It doesn't look black on the nails um, unless you're in like a really dark lighting. And it has a little bit more, it's a little bit warmer which maybe will be easier to see when we build up in two coats, but it's much, much darker, of course. Um, but it's also a little bit warmer than Titania. So this is the one coming um, this weekend in the 2024 fall uh, winter collection. And Gratitude was in last year's winter collection. So both very lovely, but a really different vibe, um, just kind of depending on what you're going for. And then I'm going to show you Virgo, which is kind of my other wintry purple. Um, this one is, I call it like a jewel toned periwinkle. Um, I really love it, but clearly much more blue, much more on that like blue purple line. Oh, nice. Oh, I feel like gratitude and lucky are going to be a great combination. I love that. 
if you think about it, send me a picture. I always like to, I always like to see what people are wearing. Okay, and then this one is Gaze. So this is from last year's fall collection. This one is also a purple, but it's um, much more of that like muted kind of heather purple. Um, so it's like grayed out, but it's a really lovely purple. So just wanted to share. These are kind of all recent purples. Um, I feel like I've been in my purple era in the last like 12 months <laughs> or so. Um, I feel like all of these, yeah, I, just, I feel like they're all really different. Um, and so depending on what your what your vibe is, what your mood is, you can pick the one you like best. So I'm going to build them up in two coats. Uh, Titania also looks really good with hail on it. I'm not going to do that today, but it does look really lovely with hail. And then this is Gratitude in two coats. Here we go. Oh, maybe I'll show Lucky over these four, actually, because you just inspired me. Um, Nicole, I think is your name. You just inspired me to put Lucky over these four because you said you're going to wear it um, over gratitude. And I feel like I don't talk about that one enough. Oops, a little flood. gaze. All right, so here are the four purples all on their own. Yes. Okay. Um, while I'm getting these closed up, if you had any other um, uh, comparisons that you wanted to see for this one, let me know. Happy to go grab them. Um, I did pull just colors that are, you know, um, currently active. So I didn't pull any retired colors for this. Hey, Madeline. Um, but I certainly could go grab them, um, if there are any that you wanted to see. But here are four kind of deeper purples. This one is Titania. This one is a nice kind of medium purple. It's not super blue, not super, uh, red. And then this is Gratitude. This one is the deepest purple I could get without going all the way black. And this one is Virgo. It's a lovely kind of jewel toned periwinkle. And Gaze, which is a deeper gray, deeper purple, but it's a little grayed out. It's a little bit of that like heather purple. Um, so they're all super different and all super lovely. What about Easy? Yeah, great question. Where, um, let's see, some of my retired colors I don't have right at hand, but I do have, um, I have a swatch stick of easy. I think my bottle is maybe in storage. Yeah. Okay. But I can show you the swatch stick. It's, um, easy is a bit bluer and like brighter. Does that make sense? Uh, well you have to take your client's calls, Madeline. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that's easy next to, um, uh, Titania. I don't, I can, um, later on try to grab my uh, bottle and maybe put a swatch in my stories this weekend. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps. Um, yeah, just triple checking that it's not right next to me and it's not. Oh, here we go. Purples. I love them. I love them. I think I am going to show you lucky over these because I just feel like, um, that was, I'm inspired by that. And I think lucky looks really nice over like pinks and purples. So Maybe I'll leave these out here so we can remember what they are. I feel like hail also, of course, looks really nice over these because they're creams. Hail just like elevates them a little bit. But here's one coat of Lucky. 
I think because Lucky has this like blue, purple, pink shift in here, it looks really nice over purples and pinks. I really like it over like chemistry, magi. Yeah, look at that. So nice. And then here's gratitude. So this is what I think when Nicole was here earlier, she said she's going to wear it over gratitude. That's a great combination. And then I'll do it over Virgo. I think I'm going to like it the most over Virgo. That's my, that's my guess. Yeah, I really love it. Yep. Okay, so this is lucky over each of these. So this is lucky over these four purples. Um, I feel like I like it over all of them, but I think my favorite is Virgo. Yeah, I think this one's my favorite. Um, let me know which one is your favorite. This is lucky. It has that like pinky blue shift. So it just looks lovely over purples, I think. Yeah, really love that. Okay, um, so we talked about Titania. We talked about... Um, uh, night court and now I'm gonna paint my nails with icicle because that's what I'm gonna wear to take family photos tomorrow so we're wearing like blue and white um and so I think icicle is gonna look really nice on my nails so I'm excited about that but um before I start painting if there's any other comparisons you wanted to see uh I have some retired colors but some of them I don't so just let me know happy to go grab them um yeah, or if you missed something, you want me to chat again, let me know. Uh, but on my website, the winter 2024, um, all the products are listed now. You know, they're, of course, not available for purchase. They say coming soon, um, but they have swatch photos from different people. They have comparisons. I was having a heck of a time trying to upload videos this morning. Um, so those are not up yet. I got to figure out what's going on with that. Um, but photos are up and you can add them to your wish list. Um, if you want to do that, if that's a thing you like to do. And here we go. Okay, we're going to do, so I'm going to wear Icicle. Which I adore. I adore Icicle. It's probably my favorite winter neutral. I just feel like I love grays as a neutral color. Um, I think they're really nice. If you missed it, I was testing some like remover wipes at the beginning of this um, that I was considering stocking and um, I hate them. So I'm not going to use them. I'm not going to stock them. <laughs> I don't think they're very good. And I feel like my nails are like oily because they just like left stuff on my nails, which makes me worried that this is not going to, you know, be a very long lasting mani. So we'll see. I haven't decided what I want to wear on launch day. I usually try to wear one of the colors launching. I am debating between um, Night Court, or sorry, no, Titania with Hail on it or Glamour. Um, where's my Glamour bottle? Oh, it's not here. Oh, yeah, here it is. It has wax on it because I was trying to take a um, <laughs> product photo that totally failed. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to do Glamour or Titania with Hail for launch day. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. Let me know which one you would wear if you were me. And let me know which one you're most excited for. Um, I love this collection. I love that it's four pieces. And I love that it's coming out in October. I'm really excited about all of that. Okay. Putting on my new base coat. If you have your nails painted, let us know what color you're wearing on your nails. Um, I always like to feel like we get inspiration from other people <laughs> and what they're wearing. So um, if your nails are painted right now, let us know. You can just describe the color or tell us exactly what the color is, whatever you prefer. Here we go. 
know. Okay, so I'm gonna do icicle in two coats. Oh, I'm so glad that you're excited about night court. Good. Yeah, I really like it. It's really fun. Glamour, one vote for glamour for launch day. Thank you, Sue. I appreciate your input. Oh yeah, Peggy's wearing Jostler and Constellation. What a fun combo. Oh, that sounds like a fun... Um, purple and orange are such a great, like, Halloween combo. I love that. Nebula is usually my Halloween Manny. It's like a purple metallic, so that's fun. Halloween. Oh, nice. That sounds lovely. A white curly with glitter is a very classic, very classic polish. Nice choice. Oh, yay. Sammy's wearing Forest. I don't know if I mentioned this um, in my last video, but if you look at the landing page, it'll be pretty obvious. But um, you, if you didn't pick up the fall collection and you wanna grab both at once, there is um, a bundle option to grab both volume one and volume two shades at once. And then of course, there's also the option to grab the volumes bundled individually. Um, and then of course the individual shades. Ooh, Constellation over Pebble. That does sound like Halloween vibes. I love these Halloween manis. I feel like I, uh, Halloween, I love. I think it's really fun. But for my nails, I just, I always only wear a color like the couple days before or the day of. Um, so I love those of you who are celebrating it all month long. I think that's, I think that's really fun. And maybe next year I'll try and do that. Fairy would be a great Halloween color, yeah. You are not going to regret picking up Forest and Dracarys. They're both great. Also, if you're a Hale fan, Hale on Dracarys is like, just like blindingly gorgeous. Okay, so this is one coat of Icicle on all 10 of my nails. Yep, Icicle. I think this is going to be perfect for family photos tomorrow. Love it. We're going to build it up in two coats. Icicle is one, I feel like Icicle, Raindrop, Constellation, you know, anything really with the holographic glitter, I feel really benefits from a top coat. It just like brings out the sparkle so much. Um, I mean, I think anything benefits from <laughs> a, um, a top coat, but these ones always, I just think it makes them, just elevates them to the next level, really. Icicle was in last year's winter collection, so this is not part of this year's, but it's what I'm wearing to family photos tomorrow, because it's a lovely neutral that will go well, I think, with what we're wearing. So I'm really excited about it. Last year to family photos, I think I wore scintillate. We wore like red and um, red and black, and this year we're wearing like navy and white, so I think this will look good. Bicycle. Oh, so good. I don't know how well that smattering of holographic is coming through, but I love it. I love it. When I did a live like this a couple weeks ago, somebody asked if I ever share like failed prototypes. And I said no, because a lot of times actually by the time that they get to me, they're not failed. They're just like not going to fit in the collection. Um, but I did have one that I made my friend Janine convince me I couldn't actually sell because it was this formula, um, with the scatter hol or the like smattering of holographic in a, in a, um, cream finish, but in a really light blue. And you just, it was like something, the base was just like a little bit too opaque. We needed to rework it one more time, um, before it was ready to be sold. Cause you just couldn't see any of the glitter and it's already like a really subtle, finish you know um but you just couldn't see anything 
it wasn't enough. It was not enough sparkle. And I really wanted it to work. And so I needed Janine to check me and tell me that it needed some more development. So I don't think it's going to make it into spring 2025 because I have a different just kind of like vision for that color palette. Um, but it's still on my list of things to try to rework and make work because I feel like it would be so lovely. So this is the second coat of Icicle. I think I'm probably going to wear this one this winter like four times. I just love it as a neutral. It's so good. I just like danged my nail <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna start over because sometimes I'll just try and like patch it up on that nail um, but I really don't want to get like pictures back with a funny looking nail <laughs> so I'm gonna redo this usually honestly I don't care that much um, in my from just like living my day-to-day -day life um, but this time I do care I want it to look really nice so we're just gonna start over on that nail it's okay it happens to the best of us so we're gonna restart with base coat and then we're just gonna redo it it happens coat when you're all done I know it drives me nuts <laughs> okay um, and then of course getting out the remover I did it on this nail too so we're just gonna do them both it's gonna be fine I'm actually gonna go in and top coat the other ones while I wait for the base coat to dry um, and that way I will not hit any others and bump them because I feel like my favorite thing about this base coat or this top coat is that you know it kind of forms like a really nice protective shell pretty quickly even if it hasn't dried all the way down your nail yet um, you get a nice hard shell pretty fast. And so those kinds of things will be less disastrous. <laughs> so we're going to top coat the other ones. And then we'll do the other, do the ones that I messed up. Happens to the best of us, y'all. Not that I'm the best of us, but it just happens to all of us. better. Yeah, I feel like the top coat just like makes it sparkle. So good. So good. <clears throat> These boo-boos happen to me more when I'm uh, <laughs> painting my nails on camera. Of course, I feel like you know, if I'm painting my nails just for myself, it's all going to turn out perfect. But when people are watching, here we go. Yes. Thanks, Madeline. Have a good rest of your day. Hope you get a quiet Friday, my friend. Um, Yes, we are matching outfits, kind of. We don't, like, we match, like, with a color. Um, I mean, it's just me and my husband and our son, who's almost two, so um, we're just wearing, like, um, the same color. So, like, last year, my son and my husband wore, like, red and black plaid, and I wore a black shirt with, like, a red um, vest. Our photos were outside. This year, our photos are inside. Um... And, um, so we're going to wear like navy blue 
Um, and yeah, so we're matching. We, we loosely mask, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so funny, Tracy, because I feel like I have a million colors. Tracy says people ask why we don't have any more colors. Um, I feel like I have a lot of colors. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad people like them. All right, so I'm going back in to fix my two fingers that I messed up. But this is Icicle, and I'm obsessed. I love it. It's just so dainty and perfect. Yes, we coordinate, exactly. Not really matching, but we coordinate for family photos. Um, last year, I did buy my son, because it was outside, and it was colder than we expected it to be. So the week before, I went and got him this little jacket that, like, matches a jacket my husband has from... I think, it's, I think it was from L.L. Bean. Um, and we only took a couple photos with the jackets on. And then we, you know, really quickly took some photos with the jackets off. And the ones with the two of them and their matching jackets. Just like, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to cry thinking about it. They're so cute. Um, but this year they're not going to match exactly. But they'll, they'll coordinate. Yeah. And I have a navy blue shirt. So I'll coordinate too. Okay. Here we go. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. So good. All right. Okay, now I'm going to let that chill for a second, and then I will top coat those two that I messed up, and then we will be done. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. Um, I posted the replay of yesterday's live to YouTube. And so I'll post the replay of today's live to YouTube. Um, so if you, you know, want to be able to fast forward, rewind, watch in, you know, 2x speed, whatever you want to do, um, it'll be up on YouTube. And then um, yeah, the collection goes live on Sunday at 2pm Eastern. I'm also restocking a bunch of nail art stickers and my nourishing base coat will be back in stock um, this weekend. And I'm trying to think about if I have any other announcements, but I don't think so. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm just loving, loving this. I think it's going to look really nice tomorrow. And we'll do some top coat. And I thank you all so much for watching, whether you watched it live, whether you watched the whole thing, whether you watched parts of it. I'm so grateful. Wishlist ready. I love it. Um, am I going to be selling any? Yeah, I, I will. I mean, I kind of always have a very small group that are ready to go up and then I just kind of wait somebody. Um, so if you're watching the replay, the question is whether or not I'll have any mistake bottles, which are my, like, it's what's inside that counts bottles. Um, and I usually wait until I do them like once a quarter probably because I want to list, you know, like 10 or 12 at once. Um, so I don't know. I don't really, I just did some. So I think there probably won't be any until later in the year, probably like December. Um, I also have to do my like year end inventory in December. <laughs> and so it seems very likely that when I do inventory is kind of when I'll discover some of this stuff. Um, so yeah, probably in December, but I usually post that in my stories first. Um, and then if uh, they don't sell out in my stories within 24 hours, then I'll send out an email. Um, but those are, if you're not sure what we're talking about, those are, I call them, it's what's inside that counts bottles. They're bottles that like, you know, maybe they broke, uh, another one next to it broke in transit or something. And so it got polish, you know, on the outside, but the inside is totally fine. Um, or some of them have like misprinted logos. They're like off center or they're like, um, they like part of it didn't transfer very well. Um, some of them I've had like um the caps have like a weird finish or like a spot that doesn't feel right <laughs> um and so I'll list those um heavily discounted um instead of just like throwing them away uh but yeah I usually list them probably once a quarter when I kind of amass a you know 10 to 20 bottles to list at once yay okay so I'm wearing icicle um this is what I'm gonna wear for our family photos tomorrow but we talked about comparisons for night court and Titania and all four of these colors are up on my website. You can check them out, build your wish list, 
let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much for all of your support on this collection. I can't wait for it to be out in the world um, and in your mailboxes. So thank you. Have a good rest of your day.